How Salmon Got Its Gills by Jake Wilson and Gail Vinicombe. This is also in Spanish. I'll be reading it in English, but I will try to pause so you can see the Spanish words along the way. This is a made-up story about how the salmon got its gills. It is based on some information this class received from some contributors. Once upon a time, the bear and the salmon were good friends and they lived in the forest. They got along well with the other animals. Bear was more talented than salmon. He could run, climb trees, and he was very strong. All the animals respected Bear for his strength. Salmon was slow and weak. Soon he became jealous of Bear. Salmon spoke badly of Bear to the other animals. I am better than Bear, said Salmon. Bear is weaker than I. The rumors spread rapidly. Salmon told the other animals that he is better than you, said Bird to Bear. Bear talked with Salmon and they began to argue. The two became angry and fought. Salmon was much weaker than Bear. You are no match for me, said Bear. I am much stronger than you. Salmon jumped at Bear, but Bear was very fast. My face, cried Salmon, while Bear used his claws to create deep cuts on the sides of Salmon's face. These cuts became Salmon's gills. Salmon was forced to leave to escape the force of Bear. And so he jumped into the river. You fool, said Bear. I will catch you one day. The salmon and the bear are still enemies to this day. Today, the bear stands in the river, clawing at the salmon. Every day, bear roars, one day I will capture the salmon. This is the story of how the bear gave the salmon its gills. And here are the acknowledgments. So this was a book written by students and they took what they learned and made a story about how the salmon got its gills. I hope this inspires you to think about maybe something else that the salmon does or has on their body and how maybe that came to be and you could write a story or draw a story or both about that. <laughs>